In this lecture, I am going to show you how to work with widgets block. So let's get a page named widget. Now click on this plus icon. Navigate to widgets. You are able to see there are five built-in widgets option. First one is shortcut, then latest command, then archives, then categories, and latest post. Let's add latest post first. Click on this latest post and it's generated all latest posts. Now you can define the width. If you want to showcase this in full width, then click on this full width. If you want to make this wide width, then click on this wide width. Then if you want to place this in center, then align center. And here is grid view option two. Just click on this grid view and this all are grid view now. And now if you take a look at the right sidebar, you can see there are some filter option. First one is ordered by newest to oldest, oldest to newest and A to Z or Z to A and then category and just select the category and it will show only that category post here. I am selecting all. Now the number of items. Define how many posts you want to showcase in your page. I have already added three posts only that's why it's not showing more than three and if you want to display post date then just enable this option and now it will showcase the display date here and that's all about this post widget and let's add our another widget it's latest comment if i click on this latest comment it's grabbed all of the comment it found in this blog posts and you can also disable avatar display that and display excerpt from this option and you can also define how many comments you want to showcase in this page and that's all about the latest comment block let's add our another block it's uh, archive and it's the archive block you can show you can show the post counts from this option and display this archive as a drop down also if you enable this display as drop down then people have to select the exact month from this menu and that's all about our archive block and we have also short code in our widget oh we have also categories in our widget so let's add a category i have added two category let's see yeah. The f one category is food and another is uncategorized. You can add category from post to categories. You have to add categories here and it will showcase in this widget. You can also play with these three options from your right sidebar for this category widget. And our last widget is shortcut. Let's add shortcut. And contact form 7 provides shortcut to add a contact form in your blog page or post. Just I, I have already installed contact form 7. Now let me copy the shortcut from contact form. Okay, this is my contact form 7 shortcut. I am pasting it here and publishing this page. Let's preview all of these blogs and Let's preview all of these blocks. Clicking on view page, opening this in a new tab and okay, we have added first blog post, then comments and then archive and then category and then our contact form 7. And that's all about all default widget options. I hope you understand how to work with these widgets. And uh, this lecture gives you a clear idea on how to work with widgets.